Hey guys, it's Leah from buildasitewithleah.com. Thanks so much for joining me today. In under 30 minutes, this tutorial will show you how to build and launch any type of website using Wix. Wix is a drag and drop editor that's super easy to use even if you don't have any technical skills. So let's begin. From step one of my guide, you'll click this link to open Wix in a new tab. I want to let you know that this is an affiliate link meaning I have a relationship with Wix and will get a commission if you choose to use it. Using my link allows me to keep the site running and comes at no extra cost to you. So whether you go directly to Wix.com or click here, you will now see this page where you can start now. Go ahead and create your free account by signing up here or continuing with Facebook or Google+. Once your details are entered, log in. Next, you'll see this screen. What kind of website do you want to create? Choosing from this broad list of categories helps Wix to narrow down some templates for you. Sometimes people ask me if they can switch a template if they don't like the one they chose. You should know that you've got to stick with the template you choose or you'll have to start over. And since Wix allows you to create an unlimited amount of free or premium sites, that won't be a problem if you choose to start over. Depending what category you choose here, you may or may not see this screen. Start with Wix ADI or Artificial Design Intelligence, or start with Wix Editor. Artificial Design Intelligence is a new feature from Wix. It'll ask you a bunch of questions and then create an automatic, one-of-a-kind website for you. It's great, but right now it only works with a selection of apps, and it has its own editor. I really like it but because I want to show you the maximum number of options to make your website your own, I'm going to start with the Wix editor. Cool. Now you get to choose from a huge selection of templates, all professionally designed. I think you'll really be impressed as you look through the options that you have. There's pages and pages of them. You can enter a search term here to narrow down some templates. Browse by most popular blank templates or from this list of categories. If you see one that you kind of like and you want to have a feel for it, click view. Once the site loads, you can scroll and have a look at how the site behaves. Anything that you see from the images to the layout to the contact form, all that can be changed. But it's really cool when you're a beginner to have a starting point. Even the menu, you can click through that to see how the pages change. If you like it, then you're good to go. Click edit this site. If not, go back and keep shopping. Today, I'm gonna to give you the, an over the shoulder look as I create a website for a coffee shop. The template I've chosen is under most popular. So once I find it, I'm gonna click edit so I can get working on the site. Great, you're now in what's called the Wix website editor. Let's take a brief tour. Across the top, you're gonna to see all the page pages that come with your template. These can be easily moved around, deleted, the names can be changed, you can add submenus, links, and more. All the information about your site is here, and you can even exit the editor from here. Tools, notice how when I click this check mark, the, the toolbar on the right disappears, click it again, and it's back. Keep the help button handy. You can search for so many things on there to help you out along the way. Upgrade we'll discuss later. Handy undo and redo buttons. Click here to switch to the edit mobile view of your site. It's free and you can switch that around to make it friendly on any device. Save, you'll want to do that regularly as you work on your site. Preview and publish. Over here on the left, you'll see these buttons where you can add various elements. Over here on the right, you're gonna see the toolbar, which allows you to adjust the elements once they've been added. The last thing I wanna show you are these grid lines. If you keep the important information inside the grid lines, that means no matter what device someone's using, it's going to be viewer friendly. Let's start editing our site. To change the title, click once and then edit text. Once it's highlighted, I'm going to type in the name of my coffee shop. 
If I highlight it again, I can swap out the font for a different one from the font menu. It changes right away. The size can be adjusted with the slider. Oops, that's a bit big. There we go. And then if I want the color to be different, I just click on color and change it from there. But I like what I have, so I'm just going to leave that. So play around with the text settings. You'll see how many options you have. Let's add a tagline by going to Add. And from the text menu, I'm going to scroll down and drag out the font that I like. I edit the text and type in my tagline. You notice that it's not centered. If I click on it, I can use the align icon in the toolbar to center it and make it look good. You're going to want to remember this little icon. It's called the drag handle. If I click and drag it, now I can reposition that a little lower so that it looks right. I can use these white little circles to, to stretch things out again making it look good. Let me just align that to the center again and see how it looks. Great. If I wanted to move this menu bar down I would just click on it. Again the drag bar, pull it down. Awesome. See this paintbrush icon? It allows me to change the look of the menu itself. Click on it and up will pop the design menu. These ones called themed horizontal menus actually match the look of your theme. I like this one. It applies automatically. Let's go to preview so you can see how it looks. Awesome. Back to the editor and we'll carry on. I'm going to want to click here and change the text to the address that I want or remove it altogether. The social icons have been already added to my theme, but now I just need to customize them and link them to my social media accounts. So if I click there, settings will pop up and everything you need is right there in the settings menu. Once it loads, click on settings and here's where you can add or remove anything from the social bar. Let's see if we what happens when I click on the eye icon to remove Twitter. It actually hides it from the bar and you'll see that on the site as well. The design can be changed. I can choose one of these if I like. And then again, it's automatically applied to the website. I want to show you how easy it is to change an image. Just click on any image, up will pop change strip background, and now you have the option of changing the color, the image, or even adding a video. I'll show you that later, but for now let's click on image. These are your options of where to get the images and you can even upload your own. Let's see how we can get a free one from Wix. Coffee shop, or coffee by itself is fine. Click on the image, change background, and it's applied. Awesome. Moving on to this area, you're just going to move on down the page and change things as you like. For example, I don't want this picture here. I'd click, use delete key on my keyboard, or here, it's gone. I could actually remove all of these images and then add in a custom gallery. Wix makes it so easy to get a site that really looks your own. I would simply choose one, drag it out. See how that drags out? I'm not going to do that now. But then all those images would be able to be swapped out for my own. Don't worry that you have to stick to the length of text that they give you. If you click there and click to edit text, notice what happens as I hit enter. It just expands. So they've really done a good job to make things easy for you. Any of the elements can be changed. So this button here is made up of what you see the container box and also the text box and the button. Now I want this button to say fresh coffee. So I'm going to change the text.
and it changes automatically. Now say I want to change, it's a button, so it's going to link to something. So if I want to change the link, I can actually change it to go to my menu page where they can see my selection of fresh coffee. Let me just show you that. If I was to preview and press on fresh coffee, now it changes to my menu page. Let's go back to the editor. We still have to fix that box because it wasn't looking quite right. So back to the home page where that button was. And I want to get rid of this little greens just got faster. Out it goes and now I need to align the button. Done. Again, changing the image is as easy as clicking change image and changing it like we did before. What if we wanted to add a video? Click, click change strip background, and now let's go to videos. Wix even gives you free videos you can use on your site. Add it to your site, and I've got to show you this in action. So let's hit preview. I just love how this looks. As a person scrolls down, they're automatically going to be drawn to this video. And in this area, I want them to sign up for my mailing list, so it's probably a good spot to use it. But again, you can use it wherever you want. The last thing on this page is the footer area. I don't really like this color. Let's click here and click Design. And now I want it to make it gray. Done. The mailing list area is great for keeping people in touch with what's going on at the shop, but I need to link it to my email address. So if I click on settings, I can easily do that from the settings area. Later on, I'm going to be showing you how to purchase a customized mailbox that matches your unique domain name. For now, we'll leave it. If you wanted to collect a person's name along with their email address, use the toggle button here. Once I switch that on, you'll see it's automatically added here. The button text can be changed. The location of this whole thing can be changed, dragged up or down. Maybe I can even use these buttons to stretch it out. It's that easy. We already discussed the social icons and here is just this little copyright area. Again, I would just hit edit text and it would be done. On the next page, it's called our vision but I don't really like the name. I want to call it About Us. So what I want to do is click the circle icon, click Rename, and in no time the name of that's changed and you'll see that changed on the menu as well. I don't want an order online area, so removing it is simply as easy as clicking the circle and clicking Delete. done. Now before we move on to another page, I want to add a page. I want to add a page that's a link to TripAdvisor so they can see what people are saying about my coffee shop. So to do that, I'd add a page, I'd add a link, it asks me what I want to link to, and I'm going to choose web address. TripAdvisor.com. Done. And now it shows up on my pages as new link. Well, I want that to call that TripAdvisor so they know exactly where they're going. Done. But I don't want this to be an item on the menu on its own. I want it to be a sub-menu of About Us. I'm going to drag it down. It's that easy. Then I'm going to hit the circle bar beside TripAdvisor and call that a sub-page. It's now indented to show me that. If I go back and I hit Preview, Notice what happens when I hover over About Us. It shows TripAdvisor. If I click on TripAdvisor, it takes the visitor straight there. It took no time to set that up. Back to the editor. Now because this is a restaurant site, it automatically included this menu. So that would be a good thing to customize. So again, I'm going to hit Menu. To get to that page and then 
I want to customize it. So over in my menu area, I'm going to click and hit settings. And then I can edit the menu from here, change the design and layout. For example, say I wanted to have a different feel. I can click that and notice how it changes automatically. So I'm going to play with that and customize it to my own, obviously uploading my own images as well. Great. Next up, the blog page. A blog is a great way to engage with your visitors and your customers. You can do so much with that. We'll talk about that later. But I want you to know that you can manage your entire blog from this button. Here you go, blog pages, add elements, and more. So just head on there when you want to get that set up. Lastly, the contact us page. Of course, you want your customers to be able to find you as easily as possible. I love how Wix includes maps and contact forms. Now, I removed the map here because I wanted to show you how you could add it. If you didn't, if your theme template didn't already come with one. So from the add bar, hit contact, scroll down, find a map you like, drag it to your page. Now the map's important. You don't want people that are on a tablet not to be able to see it. And as I said, these grid lines are helping you with that. So I need to pull this back in using those little white dots. I can adjust this until it looks right. I won't bore you with that now. I'm going to want to change the address so that it syncs with my actual address. And then I also can go to change address so that I can change that to Splendid Cafe, which is the marker on the map. Changing the design of the map is as easy as clicking the paintbrush, choosing a different map. Done. This contact form here, if you don't like the layout, again, go ahead and change that. Click the layouts, choose something different, the alignment, change the design of it, play with the colors, and more. Now last thing is, let's say that at my coffee shop I have musical guests from time to time. So I want to have an, a pay, a, an area where someone could I could post an event and then people could respond and let me know if they're coming or not. There's no area here, so what I want to do is add a strip. So when I click here, I can go to add and you'll see strip in the menu. I want it to be black so it really stands out. In it pops, just like that. I'm going to use this to make a little bit more room because now I'm going to show you how we can add uh, an event app from the app market. The app market is awesome. You're going to want to spend some time there. You've got apps from Wix itself and then third party apps that you can choose to add all sorts of features. As you see here, forms, comments, live chat, just browse through and you'll have fun. So I'm going to put events. And I'm going to choose this Wix events to add to my site. Once it's in there, looks really professional. I want to size it to the new strip I added. I love how that looks. So now when you want to manage your event, all you have to do is click on it and follow the instructions in the manage event button here. So it's a good idea to save your changes regularly as you work on your site. When you click save, you're going to see this box pop up where you get to choose the domain name that you want. With the free version, you get a name that looks like this. Username.wixsite.com slash and the name you choose. I've already entered Splendid Cafe. So if you want, you can click publish now from here and your site will be live online with the name that I just showed you. So anyone who wants to see your site will have to type that all in to go there. And there you see the Wix ads as well with the free version. Now I do highly recommend that you upgrade your account. And that's because you'll be able to have premium support 
connect your unique domain name. It's so much better to tell somebody that your name is splendidcafe.com instead of that big long one. You'll also get access to Google Analytics and more. So from the website editor, you can click upgrade and compare plans. Check out the premium plans page. You might see different plans here depending on your template, but you'll always see one that's called most popular. I highly recommend it because it's usually the best bang for your buck. Let's, let's look at some of the features that are included here. Unlimited bandwidth, so your users will have a great experience with no frustrating slow loading times. Extra storage means you have more space to upload your own images, videos, mp3s and other files. You'll have all Wix ads removed so the focus is on your brand. A free domain voucher for one year which even applies to popular extensions. All these features you see here and I want to point this out because the Site Booster app drives more traffic to your site and it's a $60 value in itself. And lastly, I want to point out that these plans that you're being shown here include the Wix Restaurants app that already comes preloaded with this template. This is a great app if you want to take orders online. When I was doing the sample website, you'll notice that I actually removed that because I wasn't going to use that feature with my cafe. So in reality, you can save some money if you didn't want to go with that app. And how you would do that is you'd go right to the bottom here and it says not a restaurant owner, check out Wix premium plans for more options. So these would be the basic plans that Wix offers without the premium apps added on top. So once you click here, you'll see that you have five options instead of four and the unlimited plan is 1242 instead of the other amount which was just under $20. And this one includes ad vouchers, a site booster app for $60, and the form builder app for $48. So again, the choice is yours. Go ahead and use the restaurant app. It's a great app for just a little bit more if you need that feature. And if not, you can just go with the basic plan. So either way, you'll make your choice and click select. And now you can choose your plan subscription. You can save a little bit more if you opt for a longer term. It's very tempting to go monthly, but you should notice that it doesn't include the free domain voucher or the premium apps. So by the time you add those things on, you're boosting your costs. I prefer to go yearly and save 30%. Over here on the right, you'll notice you have 14 days to try your premium plan. If you're not 100% satisfied, you can get your money back hassle-free. Make your selection and on the next page, you'll be entering credit card information. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. After I entered my credit card details, it brought me to this page where I was told my site's premium and now I get to use that free domain voucher to choose my unique domain name. So in this search bar right here, I'm going to type in the name I want. Let's go ahead and type in splendidcafe.com. Hit search and now it's telling me my name is not available. That means someone else has it. It gives you a lot of options here that I could choose from, but I'm going to try something else. I'm going to try typing in mysplendidcafe.com. Yes, it's available. Just going to check the spelling, and if I'm happy with that, I can click to get it. Excellent. So, my registration period. I have a free domain voucher for one year, so I'm going to click the one year here. And now, as you'll see on the right in the summary, it has been uh, reduced by that amount. So really, I'm not I'm getting this for free. Once I click continue, it'll show me a summary of all my contact information. It's a good chance to re to review everything that you've already entered. Click continue. And now I have the option to choose private registration to hide my contact info. I do recommend that you choose this. Please notice it's an extra $9.90 a year, but it's well worth it because you protect your identity, prevent domain related spam and prevent domain hijacking. So these days it's worth it with, um, to be, have that extra security on there. So click continue. 
I can review my payment details and submit purchase. So the last thing we're going to do is get a personalized mailbox so that when someone emails me, it'll be leah at mysplendidcafe.com. So let's go ahead and buy a mailbox. All right, again, I can save 18% by choosing the yearly plan. So I'm going to do that. And I want to buy one mailbox, but you can make your selection here. tells me the cost, click to get it. Cool. So now I have one mailbox purchased at mysplendidcafe.com and I'm going to submit my purchase now. On this page is where I'll see all the details relating to my personalized email address and they've also emailed me that information to make it easier for me as well. Great. So we're done. Let's have a look at the site now that it's live with its own unique domain name. As you can see, Wix is an easy and fast way to build a website if you don't have a lot of technical skills. If you know of anyone else that's struggling to build a website, please feel free to share this video with them. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials just like this.